Hi, so I had this dilemma. I just found out only after I bought the seeds that the so easy seeds that are pelleted, uh, they only last one year. And after that, the viability decreases significantly or that they they don't even last or they last up to that year um, or maybe maybe not um, I'm not sure how long but so I found that out after I bought these seeds so I couldn't keep these seeds for over a year so on one of these packets I'm trying to figure out which one I Yes, this one. This heirloom mix. I bought it last year, I believe, or the year before. Let's look at it. So, sell by 2022. So, I bought that two years ago, and I didn't sow it because I was busy sowing the my older seeds from 2018 that weren't pelleted. And so when I found out this year that any seeds that are pelleted, you'll have to grow them within that year so you could grow it three months in um four five six months in like um succession sowing if you like but who does that because you want to get um fruit all season long and then each each pack provides 50 seeds 50 seeds 50 seeds this is the only one that offered only 15 seeds and i didn't even catch it so i just saw that it's super sweet 100 tomato and um, it, I didn't look at how many seeds there were in the package and then I, I saw that it says 15 pelleted seeds and I was like oh no so I grabbed all the seeds that I found that were pelleted and I so these were the new ones that I bought the these three here one two three just this season and then this one I bought two years ago so I decided you know what I'm just going to sew them all and see what I get and then we'll find out since this is from 2022 how many of the seeds actually germinated. And then so I sewed everything and I'm just going to have a batch for myself, my family, some friends and then the rest I think I, I offered for my daughter to um, grow in little solo cups and maybe she can sell them because I don't have any other way I can't use them all and I don't have any other way of using them but I do have to use them within this year or they'll go bad so um, hopefully she can sell the the plants so we'll see what we can do I'm not really sure I'm stuck in a bind and that's what I decided to do and on another note let me show you but also related to this so beware I also bought these seeds and these are old so I got these zinnia seeds cut and come again I was I was really liking it and I was attracted to the fact that it was um, pelleted so I bought this chrysanthemum the zinnia I've also bought echinacea and I didn't know that they weren't you know their shelf life is no good for so I did grow the echinacea and no wonder it didn't grow because I didn't know it. So the zinnia was sell by 2018. You see how long I've had it? And then the, hmm, for 2021 I'm guessing. See, September 21 for the chrysanthemum robinson mixed colors. So basically I found these in my stash and I realized that they were pelleted so I just took them and just scattered them into the ground in this area where I have flowers it's kind of center in my garden and I, I just throw all kinds of seeds in there I've thrown diantha seeds, zinnia seeds, poppy seeds, uh, bachelor button seeds and sunflower seeds and I just grow them in that little section there and year after year it makes me beautiful blooms makes me really happy when I'm walking around and I'm growing vegetables and fruit trees and all kinds of stuff and right in the middle of the garden I see the flowers blooming it just it just brightens up my day so the fact that these seeds won't last I just threw whatever is in the ground if it comes up it comes up this one probably won't so if these come up 
Um, these have more of a chance because they were in 2021, even though this is 2024, three years. And then this one has a way less chance because it's from 2018. <laughs> but if it does, it does. If it doesn't, no big deal. Um, just letting you all know that's the, the term for these um, pelleted seeds. So if you plan on growing a bunch and you want to be able to seed them, sow them easily, um, then get the pelleted seeds. But if you don't need to, then don't. Just get regular seeds because they last longer. So no wonder these didn't come up the other year that I grew them, along with the echinacea. Um, anyhow, that's... That was the dilemma I had. Look at how much I spent on these pelleted seeds. And really I didn't need to because tomato seeds are pretty big. So it's not, I don't know why I bought the pelleted seeds. I think it was the variety I was after. And I didn't know that, you know. And this one, the reason why is because it makes so much fruit. That's why they only give you 15. But now that I know that, I'm going to try to avoid pelleted seeds, unless they're tiny. But even so, like carrot seeds are really tiny, but then they offer you a ton of seeds so that you can thin it out for the same price. So yeah, really there's no reason to buy pelleted seeds. Hi friends, so these are all the pelleted tomato seeds that we have sown in these solo cups and let me see there's more and that's the other batch and let me show you another batch here is yet another batch so all the cups are labeled a few of them had two seeds in the cups because we had extra and we didn't label the cups extra so we'll see what pops up Hi friends, so this is proof in itself. The super sweet chi uh, super sweet 100 tomatoes are growing because they're newer pelleted seeds. And the ones that didn't do very well at all, all of these are the heirloom mix pelleted seeds and they were a year old. And I figured, okay, let's plant them all this year because they're only a year older in the end of their cycle or time that they could be viable and they didn't grow. That's really terrible. There's one little seedling. The chocolate cherry tomatoes are growing fine. More chocolate cherry tomatoes. These are from this year's purchase of pelleted seeds. More super sweet 100 that are doing really, really well. They're growing. And then some of these black cherry tomatoes, for some reason, they didn't do too hot. It's like a 50-50% chance. These are also pelleted seeds. So that was the outcome. If you were to buy any of them, the chocolate cherry and the super sweet 100 would be good. But um, I'm going to refrain from buying pelleted seeds unless I have to. So I recently watched a video where someone was saying that they order many seeds and that in 2023 they sowed lots of the seeds of change seeds of various plants. So she showed like basil and um, radishes and various different plants, not just one plant. 
that she says she bought from um, one of the stores and nothing came up in all the different seeds and she says she didn't know if it was because of that year's seeds or if it was because of the, the people who sold the seeds that year um, so or if it is the seed company itself so um, myself I have purchase these seeds and I kept them for a long time because they're packaged very well in these waterproof uh, and then resealable envelopes and I love it and I love the pictures and it says organic and non-gmo all kinds of stuff USDA organic so I kept these seeds so unfortunately like five of these packs are from 2016 and then a couple are from 2018 and then a couple are from 2022 so because she she stated that she had problems um, germinating them and growing food from them I decided I'm gonna do an experiment and so I took this what was a salad a um, Sorry, a vegetable dip, variety of vegetables were in here and then there was a dip in the center. I use it, I'm going to use this container to direct sow seeds in them. I already cut, using my um, box knife, cut little slits in here so the water is definitely going to come out. It's not going to pool in there. And I'm going to sow all these seeds. Hopefully I have enough space for all the seeds. And I'm going to see if they come up. And it's going to be a good experiment because I'll have things from 2016 to as recent as 2022. So if the 2016 ones don't come up, then it's okay if the 2022 ones come up because they're newer seeds. Um, either way, I don't have anything to lose. I just have things to gain in, in the way of plants. And then I'll know whether or not these are really bad seeds. Okay, friends. So I am... Um upcycling or recycling reusing things in this video so like I said it's a pretty useful video I think because I'm going to be doing that experiment to see if these seeds are any good so as you can see those are slow bolt cilantro and that slow bolt cilantro from seeds of change is organic from 2016 so I sowed a lot and because I had so many seeds um, too many I threw some in the ground next to the base of my fruit tree and that way it has shade because it likes cold coolness so that's where I put it and then if it comes up it comes up if not it won't and I'll know and then here I have seeds of change basil Genevieve's I just dumped them all in here they're so small and dark you won't be able to see them, I, I don't think, but they're in there. And I tried to space them the best I can. I had a lot of Howden pumpkins, so the Genovese basil is from 2016. And then these Howden pumpkins are from 2016 as well. And because they're bigger seeds, I put six in there, and then over here I put six. And then in the middle, um, I sewed the jalapeno pep. This one is not as old. It's from 2021. So we'll see if that grows. That's the difference of three years. And then, um, because these are newer, I'm going to try to sow them in different locations. But I did grow them in this, this area here. So I have the sage from Seeds of Change. And they're from 2022. And the thing I noticed only after I was doing this is that they changed the resealable Ziploc type opening to just a tear tear off and you can't reseal them so that's kind of annoying because they'll spill out easily especially since this isn't a paper envelope 
And then over here I sewed the bok choy from Seeds of Change and it expired in 2022 and that's a difference of you could say two years or you know less than that. Um, so um, I'm gonna kind of put some more soil on top and put this in a um, dapple shade area and see how well they grow and I'll keep you updated. Um, I do have this right here. Um, so I didn't sow all of the bok choy and the sage as it is the the newer the two newer packets. So we'll see if these pop up or not and then I'll try to sow them elsewhere to give them another chance to grow if they don't grow. And then I have this um, six foot tall um, tiger's eye mix sunflower. Look at how pretty they are. I was being too frugal to grow them and I didn't grow them that year in 2021. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow these in the ground because I've tried transplanting sunflowers before and they didn't do too hot being transplanted. Um, so I'm going to put them, especially since it's going to be six feet tall, I want them to grow to their maximum height and give them a chance. So I'm going to grow them at the periphery of one of my garden beds. I will show you. Sorry for all the noise, but here is here are all the seeds covered up and watered. And let's go check out where the sunflowers are going. So since these are not going to break down, I put the label, the envelope right here to show that I'm growing it right here all around the periphery of this bed here, which has some mums, some baby little dianthus and some other perennials and um, I'm just hoping to fill this out with pretty flowers here. Okay friends, so let me share with you the update. I tried to grow some common thyme and sage and cumin in here the first time in this egg carton and something knocked it over and all the soil and stuff spilled out. So that was unfortunate. I had to regrow those, resow those seeds and everything. But I don't think it's a good idea to grow it um, in the egg carton in the summer uh, or in the spring of Southern California because it dries out too quickly. Unless you're going to come out here often to water it, it dries out too quickly and I haven't seen a single thing pop up. Next, I did this experiment with the seeds of change seeds let's see next up I did the seeds of change seed sowing remember the experiment that I put out in the previous few videos ago I said that someone said that the seeds of change seeds were not growing anything for her with all the different varieties of seeds so she was checking it out and she, she said that she had bought several different kinds of plants seeds and none of them popped up so she had to go and buy more seeds so I heard that and I decided to test out what she was saying and I tried several things so I have Genovese basil, Howden pumpkin, jalapeno, um, cilantro, slow bolt, garden sage, and pak choy from Seeds of Change. All of these are from Seeds of Change in this tray. And the pak choy was the most recent newest set of seeds, packet of seeds, and they grew fantastic. And this garden sage is growing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants and the rest are not growing anything and especially the slow bolt cilantro and the genovese basil i believe those were the older one of the older older seeds from 2018 and such so if they didn't grow it might be because they're old but i've had success growing them despite that 
Um, I do have to say this tray is a little bit shallow. So maybe there were a couple days where it dried out. Or it's just that their seeds are not as sturdy as other seeds. Hardy. So I'll keep you updated if anything grows later. So here are the results of the seeds of change experiment. The Genovese basil did not pop up. The slow bolt cilantro did not pop up. The Howden pumpkin did not pop up. And that took up two spaces. I sewed it on 221. It's now 3... 11 or something like that pepper jalapeno from seeds of change should not pop up <gasps> actually I, there's one right there so only one out of all those things and then it did pop up in this section right here the bok choy which was the newest it was 2020 I think that I bought it or 2022 something like that so um, I transplanted it out and then I re-sewed English lavender here so um, we'll see if those pop up because those were like 2018 or 2019 seeds so we'll see and then the seeds of change garden sage popped up there are one two three four five six oh in fact there are two jalapenos here's another one one two so all these leafy things are from my goji berry um, I've been walking past it and kind of brushing up against it and it drops the leaves if you're too harsh so I transplanted out the bok choy and I'll show you where they are and then I'm going to transplant these out as well these um, sage because I really want a lot of sage. I love the smell. So in my enclosure I have a bed, oh, quite a large bed, and there are the um, bok choy. Unfortunately I waited too long to transplant them out so they were starting to try to go to flower and also it's been really hot and they were all crammed into that little tiny space. So I'm hoping by transplanting it out here, giving them water, cutting off the tops um, that'll uh, bulge out or leaf out. <laughs> 